So not only is this robot version gonna be stronger, better, faster, and stronger, we're gonna have a new control system because these little servo potentiometers, thing of the 1800s. We're going all Arduino all the time, full frontal here. Welcome back to the fifth installment of our terrible robotics project. If you stay tuned for these things this long, mm, oh yeah, you've seen some stuff. Oh yeah, those robots work real good. And to continue the trend of making fiddly doodads uh, here, uh, we've got the next generation of our robotics project. I have been hard at work. <laughs> All right, maybe I haven't been hard at work, but the 3D printer, yeah, the Creality Ender 3 Pro we bought, no, it has been very hard at work printing all the little nonsense that I need to be successful in life. Or, well, print things. And just look at all these awesome things it's printed. Like, like that little piece right there. Oh yeah, that's a good looking piece. And, uh, well, all, all the others too. The others look fine as well. I can print these parts as good as I designed them. So, it prints them good, but there's definitely something lacking in... Uh, one of those areas. It, it's me and the, and the designing. Here I am in Tinkercad, so you know I'm a professional. Just look at all them sexy curves. To quote the best male role model I have in my life, Drake, we're gonna start from the bottom and now you're, you're there. For some dumb reason I thought airsoft BBs would make a really good bearing surface for this base. Now the thought had merit, but let me tell you, it was not. It, it, it does not work well. To properly show you my creative direction work enthusiasm, I think a time lapse is the best way to show you what I can do. Dogecoin is up. Unbelievable. So through sheer force of will I was able to finish this pieces. And while these bearings kind of work as bearings, they make a, a lot of noise and they, they don't roll as well as I'd hoped. They're definitely a little bit more egg shaped than ball shaped if you, you know what I mean. We've built this Wheel of Fortune that's got two ring gears around the outside, like two trailer park girls, actually. And it's going to be way stronger at actually making the movement happen. Because we're going to use not one, but hold, hold, hold on, dose servos to control this spinning opposite each other. I just wanted to work better than the other model, so kind of just showing up to the party is all I'm really asking for, for success. Like, just show up, please. Okay, take that back. I remember distinctly saying earlier that there is no goal. There was a goal. Make it less fiddly than the last one to get some of these internal parts in. And somehow I've managed to make it actually way, way worse. We're going to use an Arduino Nano and some crazy servo code. What I did not know was I was unleashing a can of worms. Uh, the huge, thick daddy worms. Making continuous rotation of servos work with an Arduino with a joystick. This was not um, a fun project. That's working like a gosh darn glove. Maybe more like an OJ Simpson glove, but a glove nonetheless. And we'll go ahead and test the rotation this way. And okay, oh sweet baby Jeebus. All right, so we go to zero to 180 instantly. All right, might have to dial that back a little bit. All right, yeah, let's go from 180 miles an hour down to 150 sounds like a better number, I, I, I guess. Trying to fiddle with numbers until they work out, really. <laughs> just kind of fiddling with things until they work. Which is pretty much this whole channel, now that I think about it. I'm not sure what's going to work better, having the magnets all in a row, or having them tucked into a little pod situation. We'll, we'll see how that goes. The last step is going to be screwing on a terrible fitting dome. Slap on the magnet, Daddy, and let's see what she can do. This is a proud uncle, pa, dad, brother, cousin moment. A lot of, a lot of family lineage in that sentence. Now we got this thing working like a real robot. I guess. This is where I need your help in figuring out some sport ball plays, and we got a, we got some things to fix here. I, I kind of cheated on this one and made it so the entire upper piece spins rather than the inside pod spins separately and the sphere stays stationary. On the next revision of this guy, I want to go back to a design more like this. Well, I want it to be better than this one because this one doesn't work so hot. So this is going to be a fun to redesign again. I'm sure I'll enjoy that one. One of you kids out there suggested we use electromagnets for this, so maybe I'll make a revision that we try out electromagnets instead of neodymiums. I'm not sure if that'll make it better or worse, but I'm sure it'll be, well, 
it'll be something. Then we'll work on this coat a little bit so every time I power it on and off, it doesn't shudder and violently move around while ripping all the wires out. Cause that's been really fun to deal with. Lots of, lots of fun there. So stay tuned for our next revision. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. <laughs> unless, unless you are. Okay. To quote the best male model I have, not male model. To quote the best male, <laughs> the parts as good as I design them. Which is, it's hard to say that without laughing. God damn it. Arcrea, <laughs> oh, why is that the funny part? <laughs> Just look at all them sexy ass curves. Okay.